Hi, welcome. This is still the same PC as last video. It's still the very last Arch Linux 1907-11, but it's the other side of it. So the Arch Linux full ISO has Openbox i3 and XFC, and you can just switch what you want to do at that particular moment, which, which um, desktop you'd like. In this case, it's not about liking. It's about, well, making something available to the vast community that is the Arch Linux based distros. We have a hint from somebody on YouTube saying, Eric, these are great, great themes. And Adi is not an, a stranger to us. We've been helping each other out and uh, he's created beautiful things. So he did not go unnoticed. As you see, these are lovely things. And he even got prices for it because I prices in the sense that it got uh, mentioned in articles and all that. So yes, he did create beautiful themes in Openbox and we knew it already. But how do you get these things in your system? That's something that's uh, most of the time difficult for beginners. Now the thing is, you rather do that manually, which is not that difficult, you see explanations here put it in your themes download ex uh, extract probably and then put it in your themes but that's not the point the point of this video is let's put it on AOR so if you have uh, Arch Linux then we have here let me just quickly do this because this is a brand new computer system and I definitely need to go to search Google set as default safe that's done and I always set it that's done and open settings in a tab as well so when I click here it's opened in a tab which I like better done with Bing so when we Google <laughs> our way around what I'm gonna teach you is how to make a package build. So Arch Linux package build. So this is something to read and there are probably lots of more pages which I'll put uh, in the article. So if you wanna help people out so that they can easily install these, then you need to do some well, it's not even scripting. You need to build a package build or write a package build is better. <laughs> AOR, um, open box themes. And one of the rules is that you actually should check if it's not already available. So this is quite generic as a name, but it points to a Debian.org, right? So that's uh, probably not it. But I need to know, is this particular um, website or GitHub, is this already in there? So I'm gonna Google for some words, Addy and Adhi and Pambudi, all words that might indicate that his package is already included. Because that's always a thing of, of course, um, is it in here or not? The idea is of course not to have doubles, which I uh, completely understand. So you really need to check it out if everything is uh, speak and span as they say. Anyway, don't see anything. Oh, there are more. Don't, don't see anything uh, remotely resemblant to that fact. So, fine, then we have an open road. We can actually make a package build and the package builds is, are, are here. Maybe you could make one from scratch. I always copy paste the ones I have, of course, which is, uh, well, easier, faster, efficient. But the name here, package name, when building regular packages, this variable should be not be explicitly cleared. Uh huh. Okay. Split package. They make it a little bit difficult again. And then the package name. 
and so on. But how do we start? Do we have a way to kickstart this thing? What do they say? Normally I would say go and get me something template-like. And licenses are here. Let's get some other links. Arch packaging, open link in, in there. Creating packages, open link in new tab. What else? Source info, open link in new tab. Arch user repository, package development, maybe. Let's take a look. And then the Arch build system, mm -hmm. open look. Make package, okay, open link in tab. So, you start reading. Before you do anything, you start reading. The Arch package guidelines, here's my prototype. I wanted to copy paste over. Package etiquette, right? How to do it and not to do it is included or understood by it. Creating packages. Make and make install and then dot configure. The source info we're gonna need. Little command you do. This is everything you ever wanna know. We need to submit as well. Arch build system. Hmm. No, we don't need this one. There are some interesting things in here, but for our tutorial, not necessary. The make package. Yep, we'll do that. And then our search for the similar or the same package, which is still not um, clear because I'll just test it again with Adhi. Okay, good. <laughs> Pambudi. So that's his name. That's what I'm Googling or searching for. So let me check. I did write that correctly. Adhi Pambudi, fine. So Adi, maybe this one as well. We need to be absolutely sure that we don't do double work. And it's easier for me is I just copy and just install, done. All right, so guess not. Another test. No, okay, fine. That's that. Let's um, get cracking. So instead of making it from uh, copy paste for what I have, let's do a scratch from scratch kind of development. This we're gonna need. Super 6 is moving into the other screen. Come back here. And then Super 6, now we have it. Right mouse click, let's work on our desktop like this. Super 7 tiles it this way. Making a folder create folder it's always gonna be called package build no choice there package build capital letters double click it get this stiff this stuff over control c control v a nice coloring that's good um we don't need this one so let's do a seven as well here but first, let's take an open terminal here. This one can go to the position seven. Uh, what's happening? Okay, super seven and that one super one. So I'm trying to figure out the workflow here. That's it. This is now saved, control S. This button up here showed it wasn't saved when I ask what's in here then we see the package build that's it we don't need to schmot this thing 
there's no need to become let it uh, become an executable an x in here read write execute right no need for an x just package build the name we should think about a name that's always the most difficult part it need to refer to the fact that it's an open box theme right when somebody googles or searches is going to type in open box theme here they reference to an atalum open box theme bunsen theme let's take some similar approach so people find our stuff that we create i think this is better thing to say open box themes and then a name behind it so what if we say this thing is called open box themes and then or we could say adhi or we say pambudi or we say both what would i prefer i would prefer my first name open box themes eric right or dubois i don't know i don't know i don't know what he wants either so maybe pambudi yeah i think i would prefer my last name would narrow it down if there are other people with the name eric it will have an, a, a problem so dubois and pambudi is maybe better i did not do any typo i'm well known for my typos but this is important okay so that's done version number yep number one <laughs> package release never should be zero i've made that mistake in the past and people said to me hey eric officially it should be always open so okay fine so you start reading this and you should you should but mistakes will be made and, and no problem uh, people will help you packages should never be installed to user local okay fine do not introduce new variables or functions in the package build build scripts unless the package cannot be built with doing so could conflict etc if a new variable or a new function is absolutely required prefix it name with an underscore so i do this in my scripts as well an underscore which is then my variable I use in my scripts. Avoid using user libx and use package name instead. Okay, never done that. The packager field, packager. So that's this guy up here, maintainer probably. Your name. Let's do that as well. Eric Dubois. And sometimes people just type something else in here, not the real. Um, a name and something like uh, I don't know space dot and, and stuff like that and add sign or something really doesn't matter because we are on Gmail and Gmail filters out all this the rubbish it's only my spam never had any trouble with it so I'll leave it like this mm, what else Yeah, that's who packages, okay, and the make package conf, that's something else. We'll see about that later. Oh, I better write that down. <laughs> I'm gonna forget about that. etc make package.conf. Right. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I always do it in here. All important messages should be echoed. Installing using install file. Do we need it? No, we don't. When I use it, I use an install file when I want to say, hey guys, this is going to etc scale. Remember, if you want to have it, you do need to do a scale, right? That's an install file. That's give, sending a message to the people. But this guy actually is going to go to etc, well, not user, share, themes. That's where it's going to go. So no need for any explanation for the users. So package description. Um, open box themes from and then Adi Pambudi which is written like this all right so mm -hmm. ok 
okay I wanted to write beautiful and amazing and all that but let's keep it sec and um, go with this he knows I like them that's enough so dependencies Wow just open box really <laughs> right so we are here in arch the license oh my god i'm not sure he has any license in here somewhere if he mentions it license yay i've got myself a license version 3 so gpl version 3 I think I need to write something behind it, version 3 or something. But let's um, see, because our licenses are actually somewhere on the system. But maybe uh, they will tell me. So, reading on, NAMCAP op de pension depends. There are no optional dependencies. These are things you can say, well, my application will be better if you install that one as well uh, like like uh, tumblers or something I don't know something that improves your software even more but it's not necessary so optional means well, the, the, the way it sounds the package build will not crash if you have not these packages installed they're optional okay and depends well the only thing I depend on later on is gonna be Git and uh, maybe open box um, that's it really why will you install open box teams if you don't have open box okay that's it but uh, for the rest we're good arch well let's let's keep track of our lines so i'm reading it again as well interesting for me package description do not include the package name in a self-referencing name Okay, so don't use a name. Okay, fine. 80 characters or less, done. Below 100 characters, all right. Remove empty lines, provides, replaces. It's not gonna replace anything. It provides. Well, we can, it provides this, of course. But if they say it's not necessary, We'll can see later if we keep it or not in common practice to preserve the order of the package build so this order is preserved fine quote variables which may contain spaces so if there are spaces in your directory or anything you're naming you use these quotes integrity variables and those are these guys wants to we can do that no problem and use up the book sums so update package sum right package naming these characters were not used fine package name should not be suffixed suffixed with the upstream major release and so on no so these numbers don't don't put numbers in here the numbers are in here and pacman knows then uh, what to do package should be the same as the version released by the author yeah i'm um, not sure if he has ever, ever had a number in his mind you know so we're free to do that uh, otherwise there would be a release number 3.2 and then i will follow his release number right Put this guy here. Uh huh. May not include hyphens. Remember it letters, numbers, and periods only. A hyphen is where Pacman cuts it off, so he knows um, what you use as a number. So he says point, 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 and then. This is all the package version, 4.13.6 is the package version and the dash one is the release and anything behind it is, is for him uh, something else. I mean, this is the number for him. We can analyze with the dots and the dashes uh, where the number begins or text begins and number 
starts and stuff like that. Um, what else? Specific to Arch Linux, uh huh. The release count starts at one. Yes, done that. Great, Eric. Then, as fixes optimizations are made, the package will be re-released to Arch Linux public, and the release number will increment. Yes, I will. So we've done the mistake. We'll correct it. We'll put number two. Okay. Configuration file should be placed in etc. So our etc scale. Subdirectory. Yeah. Etc. Package name. Package file should follow these general direction directory guidelines. So here you learn something about your system. The system essential configuration files. The binaries are here. The libraries are here. The header files are here. The Linux header files. Just start typing yay. Uh, Pacman, no, it doesn't matter. Both work. Minus S Linux, right? And just press a few and taps here and you see here the headers for LTS. The headers for what the other one the linux headers oh here okay so these things are situated there the headers the package modules and plugins stuff like that calamaris for instance is in there user lib calamaris or graphical installer some info the main pages configuration files and the optional optional things so we do have optional things let's include more information in the video you know me your our system that we have here contains in opt discord dropbox google spotify sublime text temps vivali right these guys move to that place packages should not contain any of the following directories okay noted Make package duties, check if package dependencies or make depends are installed. Um, when you, this is not an issue for us, but when it, things get more complex, we, you need to be sure when people run this script with this package build, that it's gonna install the stuff that it needs, so the make depends. If you want to make the package, you need the dependencies. And that's what the make depends is, the make package duties. We should be checking, do you have some kind of uh, software available? Otherwise, it will well, block, it will stop the build. Download the source from services. We know the source. This is going to be our source. Check the integrity of source files. We're gonna do that. Unpack file system, fine. Does any necessary patching. Uh -huh. Builds the software installs in a fake root. Okay, strip symbols from binaries. Strips it from binaries. Don't see it here. Okay, and we'll see. And then compress and then store, and fine. Uh -huh. Here is something we need. So it says here architecture. So architecture is 88664. No more 32 bits. Done for. Hardly any of my students still have 32. Well, actually, none of my students in 2019 and 2018 had a laptop with 32 bits. So it's old. Otherwise, use any. Nope. All right. See package build license. We want to know that because I have a license. Okay. Here it was. User share license. Control C. Control Shift. And that's open already. Control V. Enter. So here are all my licenses that is provided with Arch Linux. And it's the one number three one. So that's the number three. That's this license version three. That is the same 29 June 2017, 
20, Control Shift T, Control Shift T, get your lost tab back. So that's the one from June 2007, exactly the same one. Fine. So, how do I get it in there? GPL3. The license on the. Add custom. No, it's not custom. You have it. Install the license in user share license package name. But that's a custom one. We don't need to install anything. But this is the package name. User share license. We can actually say these are all the licenses of all the stuff we have on our system. Yep. Well, I don't know what that is. Let's open it. It's about the license. Okay. So we should do something with it. Let's move you to the top again. So the license is probably going to be this guy, GPL3, right? I've closed it, I've closed it, it's going to be this guy. And they say that's the thing you're going to need. Let me read this again, because this is new for me. I have my own license where I put it, where I make our own Arc Linux licenses or another place. Okay. So, seems to me we need to do something later. Let's gather some information and see what we'll do later with it. So this thing is already worth explaining to you. This is a variable. So he's going to fill it in with the thing I've put in here. So basically all these stuff, you could see them as variables. You're not gonna use all of them, but this one is pretty much the one you're gonna use. And I seem to forget something. One of the rules is if you uh, know the, the source and it's Git, well, you put Git behind it so everybody knows ah, it's coming from GitHub. Okay. So that's that. And we'll probably come across it when we read it further on. Now let's see some scrolling through it. That's the thing we got. So this is what we're working on, but it's even more complex, as you see, it has more things to it than the one on ArchWiki. So we found another one, prepare, build, check, package, it can be more complex even, with some source files. So there's more information than just the one we started with. No licenses stuff, optional dependencies, does not depend on anything. So basically, if the rule is get rid of it, oh sorry, it does depend on something. Make depends, mm, nope, that can go. But let's keep it in till we find, we'll, we'll discuss it. Ah, here it is. So here we are discussing it. Optimal, optional depends. No, we don't have it. But it's if we need it, you can type it like this. Cups, and then you, that's the printing support. You don't need to put text behind it, this is just text. This is of course important, it'll check, well not check, it will show you when you install it that there are optional dependencies so that you are aware of that if you install these packages it will get even better. You get, get uh, the GIF images support and all that. 
So optional dependencies, I've made that decision. Make depends is out as well. No need anything to, to build it. It's just a copy pasting of files basically in a certain place and then open box will find it and we can select them. And it's as simple as that. It's the easiest thing to start packaging is that way. Icons, themes, and things like that will always be just files and folders. That's the easiest thing to start. Okay. Base development, we have it always, so that's not necessary. Conflicts, there is no conflict available, we'll see. Normally not. Provides, let's read this because I, is this necessary? An area of additional packages. Uh -huh. No, okay, fine. That's not needed. Conflicts. It will not conflict normally with anything else, but let's assume it will. Um, for instance, you have uh, screen fetch. Right, there's an application called Screen Fetch, but there's also one called uh, Screen Fetch Git. It's the same thing. The only the, the, there's one on the Arch Linux repo, like sudo pacman minus s Screen Fetch. Okay, that's all fine, but there are in conflict. Why? And that's this line here. Screen fetch and screen fetch kit are the same files. They will occupy, occupy the same place, the same folders, the same files. And Pacman says, oh, you're gonna do what? Get rid of the one or, or keep the other one because these are exactly the same things. And that's how we can prevent it. We need to write here then in this case, a new fetch or new fetch kit. And then it knows what um, conflict there might be. Normally, in this case, no conflict, not a safe. It replaces nothing. Another great example we had is the renaming we had done sudo pacman minus s Arch Linux hblock. There was a something called hblock git, and we said let's rename it. And we changed the package build in that way that Pacman knows, oh, look, hblock git, there's an update from it, and it's going to replace, be replaced with Arch Linux hblock git. So that's how it works. It all makes sense at some point in time. So no replace at this point in time, that's good. Backup, if you want to, if there's a file on your system, and you say, oh my God, I don't want users to lose it, then you make sure that it's back up, right? And it's gonna make a copy. Should be preserved during upgrade or removal. And sometimes you see these things like pacman.conf, it gets a pack new behind it. And nobody looks at it, but it's actually the newer file. Your old file is never replaced. The new file is just put aside and never used. It's up to you to see if there are differences and if you want to change it. Okay, so the pack new is um, the very last, most recent version of LightDM, of Pacman, of uh, any of our, our well, applications that have configuration files. So backup, a uh, killed backup, that's good. Options is here. Let's read it. Okay, changing the behaviors of package of uh, the make package configuration. Install. That's this guy. Install, pre-install, post-install. I don't think it's that guy. I think it's another guy. I think it's this guy. This is a default template for a post-install scriptlet. So. You can do things pre-install, post-install, pre-upgrade, post-upgrade, pre-remove, post-remove. To be honest, 
never done it don't know what it is so we don't need it anyway for now change log never use change log and oh did i delete the page i thought i was reading something else control shift t not that control shift t this control shift t yeah Whew. so okay so there's this kind of thing uh-huh do not end the script with exit okay otherwise everything stops probably change log the name of the package change log to view change logs for installed packages that have this file okay i want to learn something never used it minus q change log let's stick with this screen fetch thing no change log available okay uh one more try for new fetch all right <laughs> fine nobody else is using it probably change log out you route okay now the most difficult part let's hope they do it well otherwise i'll have to go to my own stuff and we have a problem source can be anything i always say guys aor aor means any linux not even linux any source it can be a github it can be gitlab it can be a debian file it can be an open suzu file it can be rpm it can be debian it can be it can be anything the thing is we get it we extract it we do our stuff with it we package it and we have our stuff for arch linux okay the source can be a place on the net so for instance screenfetch.com with a screenfetch name with a package version and tar gz at the end that's a url if we put it in the browser you download your package that's basically what happens that needs to be correct files can be also supplied in the same way uh, it's located and their names uh -huh. install files we're not going to do that we know why we're not going to do it we can sign it not going to sign it either we do sign it on our icon next thing it must be unique because the source destination directory can be the same for all packages okay so source is this line 11 and then they're pointing to they're actually saying download this and name it that that's what it says here but as you may have seen there is no release so that's a bummer well a bummer there's no no problem at all but the thing is did they explain what I should do in case there's no tar GZ available additional architectural stuff can be given and boom we're over it so there's no explanation what I should do when the source is a git source so let's um, not go to my package builds just yet and see if we can find it so control find what if git okay creating control find git uh -huh. control find uh, git please control find git control find git hmm could have been was close it's close but it's not and git we're out of luck so um package build arch right arch linux maybe package build 
source git. Oh, I thought I changed you. Oh, it's private use. Okay, save. Enter. Google me, please. Wiki Arch Linux. Well, we'll see. First hit, why not? Control find git. Click git. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> Using the most recent annotated tag reachable from the last comment. This is actually super interesting. This is actually super interesting. That's something that I've learned only very late in our building things. Now the build guy, this build guy can actually be replaced. There's nothing going to be built. How do I know that? Because there is no explanation that you should build anything. Arc theme, for instance, go there, any, um, what else, age block. Uh, other, other people will say on their GitHub, you need to build it. Okay, then you know you need this part. But this is not, like I said, is the most easiest of them all. It's just a folder and an icon stuff that you, uh, files that you're gonna copy paste over. So that one can go and let's replace it with something useful like that one. So we could actually do this guy, package version, and you get this line. You can get do this one, annotated, an, annotated, type which you want. Okay, we'll see, we'll see what we get later on. And, and package version, in case of the git tag does not contain dashes, we can use this. Not sure what to use really at this point in time. We'll see what we'll get later on. But it's a nice thing, maybe. So rather than following this uh, scripture or this, this, this version number, we're actually gonna use the GitHub commits. So how do we know what's gonna happen? This thing is gonna happen. They're gonna use, they're gonna use this tag and December 15, 2018. So we'll, we'll reflect the last of the commits on GitHub, which is actually maybe a little bit better because of the fact that, well, this is just arbitrary chosen. And this isn't. This is actually, well, finding out what's the number online. I'm gonna take this one, I think. Because of the fact it has a fallback or not. Like I said, I don't know, I don't know. We'll just see this one through. So it's gonna change something up here later on. Okay, but that doesn't still give me my source. So git modules is all good. That's interesting that we found that. That's super interesting actually. Um, let's do another control alt V. No, that's not it. I've just uh, erased it. Arch Linux package build and then source git. Still not found what I want. I have not clicked on this guy. But that's also super interesting. How do I create? Control find quick search. Gits. Oh, lots of gits. That's an interesting link, act link actually that we should put in here. What's the difference between foo and foo git packages? You know that I, rem I told you, let's call it git here behind. Stable and an unstable. And that's why they refer it to a suffix with CF, uh, CVS or SVN and git which while well, development packages are not intended for regular use etc but it's just uh, any good so it depends what you're talking about but in this case it's super it is not unstable it's just on github okay other git stuff this 
this is not going to help me. Package build, Arch Linux, maybe, control, fine. So this is your man package build. Nope. They are already reading other other people's. Uh huh. Maybe here. Source, and here you see code that will help you. This thing is gonna help you, and this is the difference. It's not an HTTPS and a tar GZ. It's something else. It's Git. But he made a mistake, I suppose. That's why he's posting it. The idea is to modify the package build to use custom download agent. I modified the source into it has to be correct, of course. Whatever we copy paste over from the net, it should be working. This kind of looks good to me. So let's go with that and compare with our own code. So we don't have a package version targz, but we do have, we found something. Um, the package name is openbox team pump Woody git. So it is already containing it. So that's the package name. I'm not sure either if it needs actually this thing. I don't think it does. And uh, that one neither. So we have this now, which is all white, doesn't look good. But with this guy, mm, I think we still have a mistake here. Let's go back. That actually should take this one as well. that's better and now I can do the rest let's see what do I have um, pop, 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 pop. do I have anything really installed yet on my machine I don't think so it's a clean installation all my scripts are ready these are coming from get uh, started uh, oh wait, Arco get started one. Google that Arco Linux get uh, Arco get started one will provide all of these guys. What I'm gonna do is just get in all my scripts. Boom, that's it. I'm syncing all my GitHub's coming from Arco Linux to my system. Moving that out of the way, and see if we can find something. I think I'll have to pause the video here for a bit because the package builds Arco Linux package builds is a P and we're at the C's you see so we'll have to wait till everything is downloaded so I've taken myself a break take yourself a coffee you've deserved it it's already 48 minutes video long I am downloading everything but silly me why did I do that we have of course the github github from Arco Linux. Everything is online, you just need to Google. And we're talking about package build. There you are. The package build for the third party, Spotify, Discord, and our package builds. And hmm, like for instance, this is let's can we sort recent 16 days ago? Uh, maybe that one then and then you can go into the package build and here you see the code that I use and this is the code source control C all right let's compare what we found on the net in the meantime you see everything is filling up nicely still downloading everything that's how you get up and rolling 15 minutes is just easy follow the very last tutorial that's online 
um, it's going to be on arcolinux.com. After every clean installation, you just do this. Getting Arco Linux up and running under 15 minutes with Arco get started. Maybe I should make a widget here as well. All right. So that's basically what we're doing. We're getting all the stuff from internet back in. But like I said, it was already on the GitHub. Nah, closed. A ghost in the house. So let's compare. This is what we have and the coloring is different. That's important to find out. So it appears it does need it. I'm going to follow my own code. Obviously, we don't need this. This is out because of the fact that Git is already in the word. So I'm getting the same thing up here, down here. Like so, that kind of looks better. And OpenCV is probably not correct. But the rest, so this is just the underscore. So like I said, sometimes I work with a underscore package name. And then I say something like, um, rather than working with this git name, I work with this name. But um, that's not necessary here. So that's why the difference. And the rest is now exactly the same in the sense if we copy paste this over there, then it would be the same. But we don't need that one. We need open box theme collections. That's the one we're gonna need. And it's in here, let's make this bigger. So this is our source, control C. Our source is Control V. Let's check. Looking good, right? So this guy was just necessary to figure out, hey, what's the specific coding? Okay, save. Um, okay, going good. In the meantime, 130 GitHubs have been downloaded and installed. I am ready to work on Arc Linux GitHubs. 130 already after two years of work. What's next? Can we, should we, do we need to do something? Um, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna copy paste all these links in a file. If I accidentally close them, then I have them. That's what I'm gonna do first. All right, that's that. Copy paste it, everything over. Where's my file? Did I close it? I suppose so, double click. So, the MD5 sums, mm, yeah. Let's see. Can we do an MD5 sum from a clone from Git? I suppose so. What about the package? You go inside the package name and the package version, but I name it package name. I'm not naming it package version. So that's gonna be already a problem. So I'm just gonna go inside the package name. You're building one package at a time, so that's okay. Package name. Open or CD, change directory, and then make destination directory, package directory, install. Okay, and then the license we need to figure out. So maybe you're wondering already what's happening when I do, and that's the thing we're gonna do all the time now. Make package, right? We do this thing make package and then we see the the code what's what's gonna happen to it mm, let's workflow wise 
let's um is there something behind here yes so let's put this guy where shall we put you my friend not another screen let's put this guy over here and that guy over there okay so what happens if you run make package then you actually are downloading something there are going to be two things the source directory and then package directory um, we'll, we'll see it later so the source directory does this one so okay fine so there is a source directory but you see there is nothing downloaded nothing installed but it seems to me that he did something right so total 544 receiving objects and then it says integrity checks are missing source so the integrity check okay that's the first thing of them so the ND5 sum so let's maximize again control find ND5 sum autofill using update package and all that fine um, but first we need to know what should I do with it where how what we need more information. Uh, fall back to some if not set. Okay. Was that everything? No, there's more. An array of 128 bits and the five checksums of the files listed in the source array. So that's the thing we want to make. We want to make a an, an, an very complex hash thing 128 bits long. So you know that that particular download is exactly that particular download that not the has no uh, it has not been tempered with nice word it has not been tempered with that's what you want to be sure of yeah that's the same page I just noticed that when copy pasting everything skip <laughs> We can do a skip but well, it's an interesting notion to skip it for now why skip run and this it is interesting to do because now we get something we have a source you see this is the if you ever looked at it this is the piece of um, hidden folder in github the dot git folder so that's that his link but the actual thing you download the actual thing you we need to get online uh, I mean online in a sense on your machine is this and we're gonna delete all these guys we don't need all the readmes and the images but what we need is to be able to select this theme this open box theme which is gonna be beautiful but not yet there but we have already something we have this this source file and I'm wondering if I actually can make um, an ND5 sum for a git installation I'm wondering if you actually can so unless we find something some information that that's possible we're gonna skip it okay for now um, it's not wise to do so well this it's it's okay to do so but if you know the source and in the case of Arc Linux, I'm the source so there's no point in making MD5 sums but um, if you don't know what it is and this is actually not from me so it makes sense to make an MD5 sum to make sure that we get the exact same thing um, that we intentionally put on there share with Arch Linux people because it's not just um, this this script is not just Arch Linux, it's Arch Linux community. So yeah, MD5 sum would be nice if we know how to do it. So we'll figure it out later and start con continue our tutorial here. So we do have something and with this something we should do something. <laughs> great Eric, great talk, great talk. Did anything change in MD5 sum? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, let's analyze this first. So we got a new number in. 
this line here, CD package name, so it's going inside this thing. No, 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 Eric. It's going inside this thing, the package name. And then it's doing some strange stuff, which I don't care. But basically, let's take a look what its uh, result is. These are the commits. And where is it coming from? R24, that's the commit number 24. 24 commits, R24 releases. And the last thing is coming from here. B25, C465, exactly what I would like to have. That's what I wanna have. And if I did a mistake later on, this is for me. This is my, my place to package build. I made the wrong package build or a better package build. One, two, three, four, five, but this will never change. This is, this is coming from the internet. This is his number, okay? So great, already some improvement. We have our own number. Now this is still not what it's supposed to be, right? So make destination directory package dir and install. Now we don't make anything really. We don't make anything. We actually copy paste over to a to, to the package directory and that's already created. So that's cool that it's there. So make destination directory um, and then install, but it's not what we need. I wonder if we can find it in here. So in the meantime, sorry, but I saw that I had a message up here and uh, my information request has been already answered by Adi and it says, of course, I will keep it online even though these days my real life is a lot of work, it seems. He's keeping it online, which is great. So the last question I'm gonna ask him is, look, is this okay, the naming where we're naming it Openbox Themes Pampuri Git. Is that okay with you? So let's see if that's fine. And then the circle is round and everything is happy. So that being said, we have our Openbox Theme Collections. So we were talking about this package um, build. We need to patch the thing. We need to be able to move it to uh, another place. Do we get information from all the pages we have open? How do we actually install it? So that's actually the package itself. So this is this is what we got and the, the make the build and the make package. But for us, it's not not what we need. Maybe this time. That's a good thing to type in package, creating packages here, package. Um, make this uh, install, yeah. These guys all assume that you're making, building an, an application. This is not an application, it's not built. I think we better have a look at what Google has to say. So, the problem with words. Um, so we're actually in the package department. What if I tell him package and then these quotes thing, these, these, things here creating packages another link I have not clicked on to copy paste Eric okay here's some more information this is a pretty interesting page so overview the make package that we've been using already it's stored in a package build with half of the package build. It needs something more. Later on, we'll see the hidden files. Yes, again, an application. It's not an application that we're having. And here are some important variables. So the source directory. 
the oh, did I close? No. So the package directory and the source directory, these two things are those two things here. We're not preparing anything, building anything. Check package. So we're back here. And uh, nope. Now we need to test build it. Uh huh. Okay, for later. Checking package sanity, numcap. Okay. So, good page all in all, but not what I want. This can go. And let's Google again. Arch Linux package build. Um, pop, pop, pop. What's it called again? Package. And then slash slash. I did these things there. Uh huh. Packaging. Packages. Ah, patching. <laughs> Sorry. Patching. 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 New patching for us. How do I install package from a warm? Cool. Building packages on Arch Linux. We're actually leaving the realm of the well known sites and go to people. People telling us what to do and how to do it. But if we're going to do that, then I can easily go to my own. All right. We can this auch auf Deutsch machen. These articles were as veraltet markiert. Also, it's not as good because it's old, they say. In German, it's possible as well to follow everything. But it's a little bit uh, out of date. So, how do you learn from there? Well, basically, if we're not going to my sites, then I would go to close close closed I closed it a war open box team right how do other people put their stuff online view the package build and that's what they do they do this you see are there other examples I think so uh -huh, that's what they do. You see they have these checksums in here, but they work with the tar GZ. So I do hope to find something with a git and then see if we can make that as well with a checksum. So he's making directory and is going to extract. We don't extract anything. We It is already extracted. So not a good example for us. So maybe if I type git behind it, like the Numix GTK Git theme. And he's going to do this. So we did this as well. But this guy is going to make it. So it's a bit a bit um, different. Da -da 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 -da. Multi hat Git. What's this? And you end up with something that you say, I understand this. And that's where you copy paste. So it is interesting to read other people's package builds. You always learn something from it. And as you can see, there are very, very, very difficult things. And they're also easy package builds, like one line. So here you see this license thing. Maybe we should take this one since it includes this license line as well. Um, but I don't want to have this thing. He's skipping the checksum as well. And different way of writing things, you see. This will work as well. We hope. We don't know. We never installed it. Open box or git. Oh, yes, we installed it. We've used it in the past. So, yeah, <laughs> that works. Using a different kind of uh, approach. 
to get the numbers for the version. Yeah, we could try this one. So I'm going to copy paste some lines. It's also interesting to do, go to plane and do it here. So we really don't have an issue with copy stuff. So control C. We found something that we might think could be the solution to our thing. And we make a difference between this is from that guy and this is from us. So this thing is exactly the same. So, okay, fine. And this guy, let's put it next to each other. It is more or less the same. Some quotes that are different. So the question is, is it, um, will it work without quotes or with quotes? So I'm hashtagging this line out so that um, it's not looked upon. And then it's going to make the directory package their user share themes. That is correct, let's check. Ali, tell us, where should we put it? He says, listen to the music I mentioned above, just clone, blah, 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 git folder, your themes, git clone that, and go to themes. Then apply a theme you desire, your Alex appearance, and so on. So yeah, by the way, do have a look at this DeviantArt uh, website. Let's go and make some publicity for Adi. So he has really, really beautiful things. He's, um, in my eyes, an artist on computers, but an artist nevertheless. Fluxbox, Openbox, you check it out. Anyway, okay, that one out of the way. So we have this, we don't need this thing, uh, etc. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with it, but we don't need it. Let's see what this brings already. Uh, what would be the result of this already? Make package. Suddenly, we have created a package. It's called Openbox Themes Pambuti Kit R24 B25 C4651. And then, of course, always the extension in Windows executable or MSI. In this case, x86 64 bits package tar xz. So actually we can install it, but first we check. So the source, that's all in here, fine. What are we going to put on our machine? Anything that's in the package here. So open Teams Bamboo Git, correct. User, fine, share, okay, licenses. Oh, look at that, open box Teams Bamboo Git. And which license is in there? The version 3, 29 June 20, 2007. Great, it's in there. It's dealt with. Themes, ooh, I will not be installing themes today. You see? So what I've done, if I've made a directory, minus P, what is it again? Make directory, scroll, parents, no error if existing, make parent directories is needed. Okay, fine. And then package there is actually this thing. So basically what we've done is we, we've made three directories, user, then share, then themes, which is good, which is good, but we need to copy paste our stuff over. So copy pasting stuff over is done this way. Remember we are in package name. So let's follow the logic of the computer. You are in here. That's where we are. Okay. Now, prior to copy pasting over, I'm going to clean some stuff out. I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove all the GPACs and an MD. So what if I type in, get me rid of the GPACs like this, save. When I run this again, I'm going to test it, right? Package has already been built. Yes, so that's a good story. We have a success story. It's built already. Now I'm going to overwrite it. Minus F and overwrite it. This happened. 
you see so remove gpg is is um that's done we can also remove the license because we have our own license or not well i'm actually not i don't know actually so i need to learn yep and that's gone but is this still in here aha uh aha -huh. uh aha -huh. uh -huh. so doesn't need to follow the lines of, of I like, follow the license you are actually getting the license from this particular place we just saw earlier on in the video where the license of Arch Linux are so this line is copy pasting that particular thing and which license he knows that because of this thing okay great how everything starts to make sense so still not there one thing to delete as the readme.md and that's fine and we can delete the readme.md save and then we can start copy pasting everything over then everything um, recursively Men CP are recursive. Copy directories recursively. So everything in every depth go inside a folder, in another folder, in another folder. Anyway, very deep. Copy paste everything over. And where should I copy paste it? Well, basically to the file here, to the source directory, right? To this, well, sorry. To the package this is the source directory we're in to the package directory and we can actually copy paste this is the guy go, go and copy paste it in here save let's see and test if i'm right so first checking that the source is okay the source is this just folders no Nothing more, not, no, no filth on our machines, just this. And then we go in here and we do find something, but as you see, it's still in a strange place. Um, I thought it would be in user share themes. It's not, it's not. So I'm gonna say, my friends, all good and well, but you need to be in here that's where you should be all right now this time we're gonna delete it otherwise it becomes uh, not apparent what we've done so delete the package directory at least and then building it again what it does now is go to the package directory inside user inside share inside inside themes ah, cool so basically our job is done now we could do some more teaming and th tweaking like this guy these remove things uh, we could put it in prepare or something like that but it's all it's all good as long as it works that's what's important this guy can go we know that works the quotes are not important we've learned that as well and this is our code a very easy code building it step by step and now now it's fun time sudo pacman minus u open box teams pambuti git and i'm gonna install it could not open file error for reading could not open package file okay job is not done unfortunately we need some more information we need some more data in this system here now ooh, i've closed it <laughs> this i cannot control shift d um, desktop like so now what is it missing i'm thinking it's missing information for the package build does it contain the source info and all that stuff. Control H. 
is it does it have that let's open it with another application let's open it with archive manager so we have this we have the build info there's no source info in here there's one thing missing the source info okay fine now there was indeed i written i've written down something the etc make package remember it has also something to do with that so man make package and there is a thing in here don't see it straight away but we had a website here source info so what it say it says here uh, source info contain package metadata simply run uh, it helpers change the package build okay files may be generated using make package so I should do this basically okay copy paste over but that's, is that for, for now an issue or is it for later an issue? I think that's actually when I want to put it online on the AUR. I think, don't think that's the issue at the right now. But it's interesting to know anyway. So that's the thing you'll need to do uh, as well. And you get this file in here. Information about that one. Now, let me think, why is he not doing its thing? Everything looks good. We have a folder, a user and a share. Licenses are in here. And we have the themes in here, which all look great. So, mm, thinking, thinking, thinking. If we make a package, Let's start from scratch and see what happens. Always a good idea. Start from scratch. Make package is the only thing you need to do. But we need to go to the make package config anyway. Minus U. Oh, I did a typo probably. Oh my God, I did a typo. All this time wasted. Anyway. References, Alex appearance. We got now themes and a lot of it. The question, where are these themes, Eric? Are you looking in the correct place? No, you're not. Yes, you are. Uh, am I not? Then maybe let's take a look at our open box themes. Our own open box themes are maybe in a different directory. Let's check. So what happened on my system? Basically, themes and all his themes should be in here. And ours as well. Let's take a look at one of the names. Pelangi. So here you are, Pelangi. Open box three, you're there. And our own Arc Mantis Dark is here as well. So I should find my Pelengi, right? Did I close the theming? I think so. So preferences, Alex appearance. That's too little. And I'm wondering if, if I have to get the other one it's always not so clear an open box this guy GUI configuration tool yep that's the one a lot of themes anyway but Langi here you are Langi and we have now another look well, uh, let's take a look eh? at our look. So let's move to another directory. 
this is the coloring of it it's a little bit different and uh, oh, oh, right. what things change so these things changed here and these buttons are different and we're working now with the Palangi thing so okay I must have made a typo like earlier on okay so we have a package that we can share with the world it's tested it works it's in here it's in the user share themes it's going to be a long list of uh, elements you see here the border lines here or we can choose another one or another one or another one right it's all about theming and tweaking from this uh, moment on to make uh, screenshots as lovely as these okay anything else i should talk i should tell about this make package thing ah yeah we told that we would go to etc pacman.conf oh my god all right there is something uh sorry 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 make package.conf we want to make package so this thing typing make package is actually following configurations right obviously so double clicking this opening that okay <laughs> i should click on the color thing not on the black thing now since we've changed theme we should take a look definitely online what is there to know about make package All right let's see what pages do we have we have these guys these guys these guys creating packages that's for later make package okay control find conf c flags do not work c base packages and all that so we have information available here you see some information this is something interesting right who packaged this thing um, we can actually have a look if um, and here he is if um, okay upgrade whatever quickly that's oh, right <laughs> apply get it out of the way and then just start typing so we have called it a pump booty well click up all and then start typing pump booty Open box steam spam booty, right? Double click. Who's made it? Huh? Unknown packager. That's not really professional, right? Build date, okay, fine. And dependencies, well, get an open box, surely. Files, uh, all these guys. The license and all the folders. Okay. So, the thing about the naming. That's this, packager, John Doe okay we've not done that where can we do this by setting the package variable packager variable in make package.conf package 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 control find package okay package some more control v's find 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 yeah Package is a word that comes quite often. So I probably skipped it already somewhere. Here I see John Doe. Haha. <laughs> so packager. John Doe. No, no. My name is Eric Dubois. And Arch Linux community, you're welcome. And if something is wrong, so, well, wrong in a sense, if Adi Pambudi is going to make a new um, release of his uh, open box themes, just unflag it, I mean, I mean uh, flag it out of date on AWAR. I get a mail, I'll check, I'll update the package build. Simple as that. That's how it works. Yes, we are in a protected part of your system. Surely you need to um, write, uh, give your root password. 
to be able to write there. And I'm doing this with Sublime Text because Sublime Text just gives me a nice little pop-up and I can forget all about it. It's just going to write there. That's been dealt with. I need to click on this, this colorful thing. <laughs> Um, we are going to rebuild it, of course, because it's never going to be there if I don't rebuild it. So make package minus F again, overwriting everything and installing it again, which I can just do by going up with my arrow keys, reinstalling it, checking it again on PAMAC, AWAR, super tool to just quickly find Mr. Pambudi and then take a look at who made it. The packager is Eric Dubois and that's his email. Just email me and tell me, hey, Eric, you need an update. Release 25 is on there. Okay. Um, anything else we should know about the make package? Anything else we should? Some information here as well, the package destination, the source destination. We've talked about that. If we are cleaning stuff up, clean the package cache, maybe you recognize this from the Arch Linux B project. In the script of Arch Linux B, the 130 and 31, if you're running an LTS kernel, you always, we always clean up the cache. We always get new stuff in because we never know if your cache is corrupted. So we delete everything and start afresh. Signature checking, we've done not done that. That's taken care of. Um, okay. Make package install, make package clean, clean after. Yes, yeah, there are some commands that I never use, but that are, are actually interesting. The flags, we do have we you might know actually something about um, make package already there is a script in the main use all cores make package.conf it says it says here in this code to change something in the make package.conf if you have four cores then this if you have six cores then that if you have eight cores then that so you already might have come across this file makepackage.conf so that's taken care of as well that's in here so i thought so the flags and all that so i thought hey let's mention it in the video improving compile the compilation time so that's what we actually did we read text and we put it in a script basically what it is here There is the update package something. We could try that, see what we get. So back to where we are working. So we're working here. These things can go when these are not important. This is important. This is the thing that installs it. All the rest is, well, the result of the make package. Um, what were we talking about? We were talking about the update package thingy. I wonder what he's going to do. That's why I'm running it. What if? What's he doing? Nothing. <laughs> so with a git, um, I suppose we can't do anything. Uh, with a tar gz, I suppose we can. And he's going to update this thing here. That's what he is supposed to do. Oh my God, I'm gonna change this this uh, icon color because I'm always um, making mistakes where to click. So let me change it first. All right, back to our dark. So no go, no go for this one. But um, can be done. Other compression things, multiple cores, do that. Uh, not interesting. Okay. 
So that covers the thing I wrote down on my paper, etc make package conf. We have now an, a name in our package, which is actually, well, asked for, was what you should do. How else, if there's an issue, can you be contacted? Some more things here, brief tour of the make, that sounds like an interesting read, right? A brief tour of the make package process. So, control C, and we don't need this one, teaching, control V, save. Anatomy, okay, installation, uh-huh, metadata, okay, package, This document is outdated, 2017. Yeah, it might be. Not sure if I'll, I'll include it. I'll probably will not. Let's uh, not include it. Okay. So always be aware, but you know this, that uh, you need to be critical of what you read, always. And make package source codes. Oh my God. Some things. Or better left alone. Also a good rule to live by. <laughs> okay, um, I pretty much think we're ready to close this one off. Well, one thing I need to make as a separate tutorial then, I need to be able to put this thing online. It has to go in the AUR at some point. So that's something else we need to Google uh, how to make how to put things in here. It needs to be able, if I type in Pambudi, it needs to be there, right? That's the point. If we do yay Pambudi, yay Pambudi, it should come out of it. Or maybe something else, I don't know. Because I asked him to respond. Do you want to keep that name? I don't see any response yet. No, no response yet. So it's gonna be open box. Uh, well, the name we gave. Um, really thinking very hard, but I think uh, we covered all of the things. And if this this thing shouldn't go online, eh? this thing should never go online. This thing will go online and that's it. And you build everything. That's the AUR, Arch User Repository. And it would be great as a holiday uh, exercise that if you find stuff online, you say, oh my God, this is awesome. I wanna have this on my system. Well, why not make a package build for everyone? So we can all get it all on our system. And that's the fun. And that's why you'll um, miss AUR. You're gonna miss it. If you go back to another uh, distro, this is really the power and the, the, the fun of Arch Linux. The first thing I did was go to AWAR, right? Packages, and then look at the votes. Click on it, zero votes. Click again. This guy gets the most votes. 2,000, no, yeah, 2,285 votes. And then you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and start reading. I say, oh, that's an interesting thing. I would like to test this out. Minecraft, Telegram, Google Chrome development. Okay, click, 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 and you start clicking until, I don't know, page 10 or something. Last one is page <laughs> 1157. Okay, that's quite a lot, right? But the same goes for popularity. Take a look at what's popular. I don't say you have, need to follow the guys, but it's nice to know what is popular. Okay, things you never probably heard of, right? And that's how we get in touch with things like TeamViewer, great thing. What is it? Google it. So yeah, that's um, the power of our Arch Linux world that we have this AUR. So as a home, t home task or a holiday task, why not make your own package build from, maybe start with a cursor, Nikon theme, uh, anything really, and, and make it 
uh, share it with the rest of us and put it on here. But follow the rules, of course. Lots of uh, links I've shown you, lots to read. But it's um, once you get to know it, it's actually super easy. And in the puzzle becomes so clear, and you, you can make your own thing. And more, you can share it with others, and we can all benefit from it. And this open box team will now be shared with all the rest. All right. Have fun.